Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gaming here. Just giving you a quick look at an upgrade that I'm going to do. So, I do own two GTX 1080 Founders Editions in SLI, and the only problem is, as we know, the Founders Edition isn't the most cool card out there. So, I've opted to water cool both my cards now um, via hybrid option using the Kraken G10 bracket, and I'm going to use a Kraken X41. I've also had to bite the bullet and buy a smaller high bandwidth bridge so now I've got two for both sizes so um, that sucked but you know I had to do it in the end because I want to have the best experience while being in SLI. Now I do actually have um, one already called with my Corsair H90 and my other G10 bracket but I will go through um, the installation with the Kraken X41 just to give you an idea how it looks again and I'll let you know how it looks once I've got it all in the system okay guys so I've stripped down my GTX 1080 well at least one of them I've still got one that I need to do and that's what the bare naked PCB looks like all I need to do now is apply these thermal strips and these um, VRAM heat sinks I bought eight of those one pack cost me around six pounds um, so not too expensive but it will prevent my memory from overheating or getting damaged if they get too hot because the, fortunately the G10 um, bracket only calls the VRM area doesn't do anything for the memory so you do have to take that into consideration okay guys here's a quick look at the thermal heatsink pads put into place um, they fit pretty well over the GTX 1080 and they're very very light so there's no chance of them falling off once installed so all I have to do now is put some thermal paste down and fit the bracket with the cooler so this is what the cooler looks like installed I'm using the Corsair H90 for my first GTX 1080 then I'll go ahead and mount the uh, Kraken X41 on the other one so this is going to be my card number one and I'll install it for you to see how it looks so here's a quick look at one card installed. So here she is guys, the final product. So my first EVGA GTX 1080, that's the one actually at the bottom. That's actually got the NZXD Kraken mounted on it and uh, my ASUS GTX 1080 has got the Corsair H90 mounted so all done now both cards running at full band rate for 16x16 and I've even added um, the zero um, slot gap high bandwidth bridge which pained me to buy but it had to be done so now my SLI experience is pretty much as best as it's going to get both cards are water cooled and pretty much silent now so I'm very very happy with the way it turned out and I'll be sharing some results with you guys very shortly having the Kraken G10s installed on both cards is one thing but you still need to have control over both of your fans so the way I've gone around doing this is installing both radiator fans to my Corsair H110 so that way I can use the link software to control the fan so these are the two fans on both radiators I can control the RPM I've got them fixed to 50% at the moment but I can increase that to whatever I want or even select one of these profiles if things are too loud or if the performance isn't good enough um, for the VRM fans I've opted to use the NZXD cam software now this can do quite a lot of things it even monitors FPS you can do a lot of things with this but you know I've got MSI Afterburner for that so you can what I use this for is just to control my uh, VRM fans and I've this can adjust towards temperature but they usually hover around 60 to 70 percent where I like them at, um, 1500 RPM so that's all I need really to call the graphics cards and it works pretty well 
So what I want to do now is to show you a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Um, nothing too long. Uh, this video has been pretty long enough, in my opinion, and you guys can see the difference in temperature. This really was just about um, silencing my PC more than gaining extra performance. So you know, temps are going to be better. Um, I can run both of my cars in 16x, 16x, as you can see, full bandwidth enabled with a high bandwidth bridge. So that's pretty much the best you can get from two NVIDIA cars in SLI. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. And as